It's a downtown site many have been waiting for. Water taxis carrying passengers back and forth across the St. Johns River. In early August, the city of Jacksonville made good on its commitment to have the water taxis operating in time for the Jacksonville Jaguars' first preseason game. This following several weeks of no service after the previous provider chose to end its city contract. The city made a series of quick decisions in its efforts to get the boats back in the water and admits that it made some mistakes and also learned some lessons along the way. But the commitment to return the water taxi service to downtown paid off, and with the help of local businessman Harry Frisch, the Sea Charm and Nature's Choice were inspected, approved, and in the water in time for game day. I love it. I missed it when they left in June, and I'm glad to have them back. I think it's great for new businesses to come here. I think it's great for pedestrians. I think the taxi is splendid for the city. Lakeshore Marine will operate the taxis under a temporary contract with the city while negotiating a longer term arrangement. During Jaguar season and while construction continues along the South Bank Riverwalk, the water taxis will operate three sites during the week. The Jacksonville Landing, Friendship Fountain, and a temporary site along the South Bank. During football games and other stadium events, the service will also drop off and pick up passengers at Metropolitan Park Marina. Fees for the one-way trips are $5 for adults and $4 for ages 3 to 12 and passengers over 65. Round-trip fees are $7 for adults and $5 for ages 3 to 12 and passengers over 65. Children under 3, ride free. For more information on the water taxi, visit jacksparks.com. For JPTV, I'm Pam Roman.